Hi, my name is Robin. I'm from the Fudge Kitchen. I work at the Edinburgh store. Today we're going to be making some fudge pancakes. Now, we start with a basic pancake recipe, which is flour, milk, eggs, salt, and a bit of baking powder. And the secret ingredient will be our fudge sauce. Starting with the dry ingredients, I've got two cups of basic flour, about half a teaspoon of salt, and two and a half tables, teaspoons of baking powder. After we've done that, we mix it all together and add two eggs. Then we mix them in and we can see how much milk we're going to need to add. Now we add the milk slowly so as not to overload the dry mixture and stop it from becoming one coherent mess. Now the consistency we're going to be looking for is thick but not too thick. Too thick and we'll end up with grainy, floury pancakes that aren't very pleasant at all. So we just keep adding milk until we get what we're after. Mixing the whole time to make sure that everything's mixed through. We don't get tiny little bubbles of flour that will come out when it's cooked. Now you may have noticed I've not added any sugar to this pancake mix and the reason for that being is when you add the fudge sauce it makes it so sweet that it's slightly unbearable. So, I'm just going to oil up the pan and I'm just doing that with a kitchen towel covering a little bit of oil. Just wiping it straight on gives it a very good distribution. Now you want to make sure your pan is very hot before you pour on your pancake mix or else it will just absorb all of the oil you just put on. You want a good dollop, maybe about three or four tablespoonfuls. And once it's sealed up a little bit, just swirl it around to make sure it's a nice circle. You want to add your secret ingredient while the pancake is still gooey in the middle. You add some of the fudge sauce. I've microwaved this for a little bit so it's a lot easier to work with and you want to add this all through the middle of the, the pancake. After you've done that, let the pancakes cook for a little bit then cover it with a little bit more pancake batter all over the area you've just covered in the fudge sauce. Okay, so this one's about ready to flip. So ideally you should be looking for a slightly burnt caramel effect on the side that you add your fudge sauce to. That's absolutely perfect, but it should still be very soft in the middle. And that's exactly what we're looking for. And that's it, about ready. Now all that's left is you generously drizzle fudge sauce all over the pancake you just made and enjoy.